In Oh No You Didn't News. Oh No You Didn't. Mm -mm -mm. Submitted by Feels Batman. Feels Batman. Feels Batman. Feels Batman. Batman. A lawyer went on a racist tirade about the Asians that took over Orange County. Is it the same guy, the same lawyer that's been yelling at everyone else? No, it's ah, a woman. This one has a great. Ah, this great is the one that they. Okay, yes, yes, right, yes, right, yes, right. yes, yes. Our fans kept right, sending don't, us don't, this. Don't. Isn't this lady yeah, like 15 years too late? We've been taking over Orange County. I agree. Like, long, 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 long time Maybe ago. she was in a coma. Oh. And dentist office. Or like a bomb shelter. You guys took them over, dude. <laughs> we took everything over. There's not a dentist office that without an Asian name on it. Dentist, Are nail salon. Videos? Yep. Liquor store. We're even taking over notaries. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> we just got some shit. Well, just like a clean cut white dentist, you know? That's gone in America. I never had that. My dentist was always Filipino. Really? Oh yeah. That's true. All of my dentists have always been Asian. Mine were always like a... A white guy looked like he maybe played baseball and you kind of want to break your hand on his face. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Did, did he wear that fucking thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They had that whole thing, yeah. What thing? The fucking thing on the, the head. Stereotypical, like, like, metal. For the metal, yeah. Oh, isn't that hella old? Don't they just have, like, yeah. a light? All right, so this woman, she went viral for her post. Her name is Christina. This is what she looks like. That shit is heavily edited, girl. Yeah, what lots of hiding? filters. What She's a hiding? lawyer? <laughs> yeah. Very so smooth. that's the same shit you do to your uh, nothing. I don't know nothing. what you're talking I about. I have no I idea what the up. fuck you're talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. If you want to plug my Instagram, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, pull it up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Follow Steve Green at uh, B A R T K W A N. Hey, wait a minute. That's not the link. <laughs> <laughs> the link. He verbally said a Hope link. Hope nobody gets it wrong. <laughs> she, she claims that she's the most well known, most respected, and most requested law tutor in the nation. That's what she says about herself. Law tutor? Says who? Christina. Says her. <laughs> yeah. So she posted this. I'll read it. This and this. Okay? So it said, or would you like to read it, Steve? The Asians that took over Orange County in all caps. My friend said that there is something coming out called Crazy Rich Asians. It reminds me of all the Asians who flooded into Orange County and then took over our mall at South Coast Plaza. In fact, they came up with a shopping word called Snoshi. It stands for posh and snobby. You can see them around Fendi, Dior, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton. They have a zoned in personality where they act as if no one exists and they just run straight in front of you to grab the next purse. That, sounds, also, uh, that sounds pretty accurate. Yeah. They also <laughs> drive this way near South Coast Plaza. They will drive in their Mercedes in a carpool lane, cut across five lanes to get over to the mall as if your car right next to them doesn't even matter. Fucking funny. That's why we have the term driving like an Asian. But now they're trying to get tutoring from me for law school. They keep telling me they're attending UCRA. I need to transfer like that in my head and deduce what, that they're going into UCLA. UCLA! <laughs> if you went to UCI like I did, you probably went to school with a lot of rice rockets. Asians flooded that school as if they were smart and could get in. Well, they did get in. No, she said Asians flooded that school if they were smart and could get in. My bad. They went there to become doctors. They were raised by tiger moms who told them to become doctor. <laughs> And then, they, <laughs> and then if they were- She went to UCI, that whole school is called University of Chinese Immigrants. That shit's like 80% Chinese. And then if they were not smart enough to become a doctor, to marry doctor. If they didn't marry a doctor, then they were encouraged to marry a lawyer. Yes, my sucker Caucasian male lawyer friends who married Asian women were completely poached, I'm one of those suckers, were completely poached for <laughs> dollars and earning potential. At UCI, they brought their obnoxiously lowered and really loud speedster cars that can't handle the speed bumps in the parking structure so you'll drive one mile an hour to get over them. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait. Oh, so you need to drive one hour one hour behind, um, one mile an hour behind them. So far, it's 100% fact. He's almost done. <laughs> if you thought you could get away from them for a hot second and go on vacation to Yosemite, think again. Because they're there too. They came in huge buses and stood in front of each waterfall to give a peace sign in their ah. <laughs> in their selfies. Damn, this bitch is fed up. <laughs> it's accurate thing, though. From one annoying thing to another, welcome the Asians. Damn, that's Thank tight. You. She's mainly talking about mainland Chinese yep. fobs. Yes. Yeah. And and I think just they're annoying a lot of people. Like fuck run, yeah. Like they they, they don't they cut they fucking run in yes. front of people. And then I see other mainland Chinese people that are more Americanized. Even they're judging those guys. Yeah. They're just looking at them they like I can't believe these Chinese people. I'm like you're Chinese too. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. They get offended if you even like cross them like. 
oh, you're from the same place. They're like, fuck no, we're not. They're yeah. from fucking somewhere else. They're like, no, but we are, but they're not, we're not like those mainlanders. And it's like, I think it's getting all fucked up because they think we're just one group. Yeah. yeah. I can't even get mad at her because she's so specific and accurate that I know she's actually been dealing with this shit. And it's not her stereotyping or anything. It's all true. But the thing is, she groups all the Asians together, and I feel like Japanese people don't do fucking half of this shit. So I'm just like, what are you talking about? But is bad driving really an Asian thing? Yes. Yeah. Isn't it that? Because I, mean, I get caught by every motherfucker, I swear to God. Casey told me that for some reason, Asians have like not so good depth perception. That that's what it was. So that I don't know. Because there's a lot of really good baseball players that are Asian. And there's a lot of Asian race car drivers. So that I don't know. Maybe, I think it's just specific to him. And he just made groups of all you guys. I, I, I think that's that's true too. Because he told me he was like, he's like, you know what I found out? I found out Asians have very small wrists. No, it was the this bone. And then he showed me his wrist. I'm like, your wrists are small, bro. I'm like, not every Asian has. Casey has dainty wrists. So I don't know. I think he's coming up with his own conclusion. So they got sprained when he fell on it. Does he think he's like the average, common Asian body type and and like? He's not, because he's hung like a fucking horse. The guy's got a big dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a huge yeah, fucking yeah. cock, dude. No, that's that's the uh, that's average age. Honestly, I think he gets it. I mean, so like his his dad really likes to generalize a lot. Yeah. So he like his dad will say like, yeah, Asians like we. Have Which is a Cantonese thing. They love. Yeah. Maybe it's a Cantonese. Yeah. Thing. That's some low ass IQ shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, like think yeah. about it. There's billions of fucking people there. All the way from South South Asia, all the way to Japan. Like you're you you can't group them up into one group and say that it's true all across the right, board. Right, because just the northern Chinese are a completely different specimen from yeah. anyone else. Like, they're right. just... But it's not just, like, Chinese people. Like, he, he likes to generalize a lot, like, for everything. Like, yeah. That's what I mean. That's that's kind of stupid. Like, that's stupid <laughs> thinking, you know what I mean? But that's... that's it older, is, though. It that's older generation yeah. Asian thinking. Like, because if you think about it, they don't have uh, the, the same... Like they don't, they don't, they're not used to Googling shit immediately. Like they hear, they're so used to It's like if two people shit. said a fact and like for them, it's yeah. like everyone thinks that. Or they get it from the newspaper or like they, they get it from what their friends said or they make their own observations. And they so wait, you're criticizing Casey's dead for saying that m most Asians do certain things? <laughs> No, 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 no. Finally! Get him! Finally! No, 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 I mean like... Yes! It's funny, it's... I'm breaking through! No, 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 it's funny because it exists. Okay, you know I mean? like, okay. It's funny to point out the stereotype. Just like half of the shit this girl is saying, I can't get mad at because it exists and it's like, oh yeah, it's an Asian thing, they do this, right? But but really, if you want to like narrow it down and be specific, it's like a mainland Chinese thing, but people don't know, understand that. Yeah, people don't understand yeah, yeah. it, but I'm also... I get where they're coming from because they're so much of this that it's like yeah there's probably um like what 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 what's that like minority black group like creole or whatever right like yeah there's creole yeah there's whatever but there's just so much of this type of asian behavior that when people say asians do mainland chinese it's generally i i, I just yeah. generally accept it i fucking hate it because it's a new thing like you don't see any hong kong korean japanese but you don't see anybody like fucking cutting people in line being rude like it's not it's not even close to that. That's a new thing and it's it's like a new bad stereotype. Yeah. yeah Have you guys so been to Halloween Horror Nights in Burbank or, or not Burbank? Universal? Yeah. Universal, dude. Fucking it, everybody cuts in line. <laughs> it's everybody. And I mean like it's like like you could say, "Oh, uh, West LA people drive horribly." That's a West LA thing, right? Like all those uh and then they're all white, but like they're all like in a rush cuz e their time is just so much more important than yeah, everybody else. I mean everyone else. does everything. So, I can't tell you how many times yeah. I've but I've seen I want to tell you guys oh, the best part of this. Okay, what is it? What is it? Is why people kept sending it in? So she posted after that that whole thing went viral. She took it down after 15 minutes, by the way. She ended up posting something else. She said, so I posted something funny about crazy rich Asians. Apparently it was so provocative that it was considered abuse. I had no idea that talking about stereotypes would be so provocative. Somehow my post goes down, but this one manages to stay up with 10 million views. Ah yes, the great value and having Facebook and all of your dumb so-called friends floating around you. By the way, I do not hate Asians. I really love them and I find differences to be funny and interesting. She posted, 
JK Films, shit, Asian mom say. Oh, <laughs> Ty. <laughs> the skit. That's so That's funny. That's but joke. obviously, there's a difference between us creating that and her fucking post. It's yeah. totally different. What's the difference Very. for you? She should have acted it out. Yeah. And I mean, also, I think ours come from a place of love. Like, there's no love in what she was writing. It's all frustration and hate. That's what I think She's people fuck up on. Yeah. They don't know that the yeah. genesis of the thing yeah. is what makes it provocative. Because it's like, I could laugh at other groups being frustrated at them. Like, yeah. I could be like, oh, I saw this fucking mainland Chinese dude take a piss and take a dump on the floor. But it's not coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of frustration. Like, why do you do that? You know, like, it, it's, it's not, it's making me look bad. So, in, in her case, I think the intent was like, it's out of frustration, I don't get it. It's uh, my, my, maybe my white culture is getting like flooded with something else and now I have to accept and deal with this new shit that I don't wanna deal with. That's what it sounds like to me. Versus us, it's like, hey, this, these are some funny things and funny quirks that we have that, you know, we're communicating. So, or how you were raised or things that you've encountered yeah. in your life. That's what's fun about like stand up, right? Like, pointing out stereotypes from a place of like fun and funniness and making fun of and yeah like it's not like uh it's not like a hitler on the dice like talking to or on the dice like talking to a bunch of people and being like yo fuck all these fools <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah it's, yeah it's like pointing out things and stereotypes can be really fun and funny and we all like enjoy them but it's yeah, coming from the mean place is what makes it all a bummer, right? It's like inclusive versus exclusive. Yeah. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. basically. Because mm -hmm. it's like, this is probably funny to everybody that's not Asian. I mean, it's still funny to me, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, saying? it. But, but you know, but it's, it's definitely it's funny not, to you guys. A lot of your guys' humor is stereotypical. But I could take it. Yeah. Like, even if, if it comes from a place of frustration and hate, I could still take it because it's. I get it. You know what I mean? So, Bart, when you were just saying that you thought that this was funny, are you, were you offended by this? At all? Because uh, it sounds like you disagree. So, so I wasn't. No, no, I wasn't offended by it, and I thought it was really funny of how accurate it was. I think if she had a comedian's mind, she's like one step away from having a really dope set. That people would be like, like when the first Russell Peters came out, and people were like loved him for his how accurate his Chinese accent was and how <laughs> how, how stingy they are. Yes. Like, it, I I think she's like one step away. But because. I have a comedian's mind when she's saying these things, it's already converting in my mind. I'm like, that's so true, that's so true, that's so true, that's so true. Well, I wanted to know what, what are your guys' feelings or like what are your thoughts about the fact that she used your video to justify what she was saying? I mean, I basically said it earlier where it's, I see it as two different things where she created content based off of her frustration toward Asians versus us creating content to show the, the little funny quirks that we have. It's, I think it's two different things. Um, it's not really like, hey, we're making fun of stereotypes, but it all depends on the intent behind it. So like, I think a good comedian comes from a place of let's laugh together and not really, let's just laugh at this for the sake of laughing at Right, because if you even yeah. look at the comments, a lot of people are like, oh my god, my mom does that too, or oh yeah, I grew up. And people like feel it. People yeah, feel like the difference. It. Yeah, it's yeah. inclusive. And I think that's Okay. I was gonna say, like, even her complaints, it just sounds really petty. So even her complaints, it made me laugh. Because it's not like, oh man, this group of people come into my neighborhood and rob me and like kill us or steal our shit. It's like, these guys come in with their Mercedes, becoming doctors. It's like shit that like, it doesn't bother anyone but you. So it just even her complaints to me are really, really petty. It's like people with their nice clothes. It doesn't even sound, it doesn't even sound like an insult, the way that she's complaining. So you you weren't. This is not offensive to you. It's just kind of funny. No, not to me at all. Yeah, yeah. 